Welcome back. First alert weather full forecast time. Joined by Emily Mers. Emily, an eerie night to say the least. It's almost like it's Halloween <laughs> spooky type time. Yeah, it kind of is. And uh, the temperature is right around the same area. Yeah. So. Yeah, definitely. It, it feels very fall like out there. Um, I would definitely compare it more to fall rather than spring. I feel like just because of how kind of gloomy it's been. But I was talking to Stacy the other day and she was saying that she's actually a fan of the kind of cloudy weather and I, I kind of get it because it's cozy. It kind of makes you want to stay at home, watch a movie, read a book, things like that. But we're going to be seeing these conditions lasting through this week. But the good news is we will be seeing a little bit more sunshine mixing in with all those clouds as well. So if you're not a fan of the gloomy conditions, luckily we'll hopefully see a little bit more blue sky this upcoming week. Right now, though, we got to talk about the fog in the area. We do have this dense fog advisory in effect until 9 a.m. tomorrow for all of these counties in yellow. We could be seeing some areas of visibility under a mile, some places even less than a half a mile or even a quarter mile in places. Here's that visibility map. As we can see, a lot of our area seeing those visibilities under a mile. Hutchinson, New Ulm, Redwood Falls, Fairmont, very dense fog going on there. Also a couple places with under a, uh, under a quarter of a mile visibility. Those are those places that are showing up as zero visibility. St. James, Blue Earth, Algona, very, very dense fog in those areas. So be sure to use that extra caution out there tonight. Same thing tomorrow morning. You'll want to make sure your headlights are on, of course, and then don't use your brights. I know it's tempting to make your lights a little bit brighter, but it actually just reflects that light back into your eyes, makes it harder for you to see, makes it hard for everybody around you to see as well. Here's what it looks like in Mankato. Definitely an improvement compared to earlier in the evening. But as we can see, that visibility is still not great. Here's another view. This is at Beth Bethany Lutheran College. Again, we can kind of see that bright sky due to those lights reflecting off of those low hanging clouds and all that mist and fog that's hit sitting in the air. It is a little bit cold out there, 31 degrees. Keep in mind we are below freezing, so we could still see a couple of slick spots. We haven't really seen enough sunshine recently to really warm those roads up to keep that ice away. So definitely watch out for those slick conditions especially paired with that reduced visibility. Other than that, though, we'll be good this week with these temperatures. We're going to be in the 30s, continuing and then rising even into the 40s. Some of us right now, though, in the 20s, like I said, most of us below freezing as we go tonight. And then as we go into tomorrow, those temperatures do rise a couple of degrees. Again, we're going to see some more sunshine for that second half of the day before we really move into the 40s later on this week. Wednesday, the potential for some of us to get even closer to 50. It's going to be be kind of a weird week heading into February on the radar. Not a whole lot going on out there other than that haze and that fog. Like I said, that's going to continue into tomorrow before we see that get a little bit better day by day. 24 tonight for that low tomorrow will be at 41 in Mankato. That fog dissipating throughout the morning. Here's that extended forecast. Not a whole lot going on on here. We could see a few showers potentially as we get into Monday. Nothing really notable other than that, though. We're going to continue to see those warm temperatures as far as this forecast goes. We'll be right back after the break.